In this video, you're going to learn how to create this visually appealing speedometer gauge in under 10 minutes. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. In today's video, I'm going to be walking through from start to finish how to create this speedometer gauge yourself in Excel. This is a great way to show visual progress towards a goal. And I'll just demonstrate how it works here. We just update this one cell, 15%, 30%, 45, 60, and we can even go above 100%. It'll lock at that 100 value, but the text box will show what we're trying to show as far as progress. And then we can even do a negative value as well. And we'll be at the zero pointer, but the text box will show minus 15%. So I'll walk through how to create this yourself. It's three different charts combined into one. And let's dive into it. All right, I have a blank sheet here with the chart removed. We have four different data areas. So the first one is this progress with the, the blue input cell highlighted here in bold. That is what's gonna drive the needle. That's the only value you need to update after you have this completed to show progress. The second will be our gold categories. That'll be that inner donut chart. And we're actually gonna start with this. Because this is three separate charts all combined together, it is best to go ahead and complete first layer, then the second layer, then the third layer. Get all your formatting done at once before you try to do it all at the end. It'll make it much easier if we do it just step by step. So first part is going to be highlighting your gold category section here, including the total column and row. And we're gonna go to insert and we're gonna go to the, the pie chart section. And then at the very bottom is the donut. So let's go ahead and grab that and we will blow it up a little bit so we can see it better. Okay, so there's our first chart. Go ahead and just select one of the slices and then do control one and that'll bring up your, your data series panel on the right. And the angle of first slice, you wanna make that 270 degrees. And then if you tab over, that'll lock that value in. So you can see it shifted our donut chart, which is what we want. Let's go ahead and select just this light turquoise value. And we go to the fill options here and we're gonna go ahead and do no fill. So it basically hides that so we don't have to worry about the, the value under the horizontal axis here. And now we can just go ahead and put in these color codes. I have the values over here. If you go to the solid fill, select the first blue one here. We'll change that to red and then we'll select this orange and we will select a little bit lighter orange. Then we'll go to our gray and make that a light blue. And then our orange will make a light green. Okay, so there is the color wheel that we want. Next step is going to be adding our category name. So we can just select our chart area here and then we will click this plus sign and then do data labels and then more options. And then we click label options, expand that. We want to do category name. So that brings in our category names and then unselect the value and then go ahead and bold those while we have them all selected. And then just click on this total and then delete that and bring each one of these category names inside the donut chart. That way we're actually gonna have a second donut chart on the outer side. And this way we can still have the values. They're not gonna clutter up any area by having them inside. And we can get rid of this legend at the bottom as well. So this is the first donut chart area completed. Now we'll move on to the outer gray area, our speedometer increments. In order to do that one, we can just select the chart itself, go to chart design, go to select data, and then we'll go over here to, to add a series. And we can call this our um, scale. And then the series value, go ahead and grab all of the tens here. So there is 10 tens, which equal 100. And then click OK, and OK, and OK. All right, so that looks good. It went ahead and ordinated this to... The first slice at 270, go over here, you can see that 270. So we'll go ahead and double click this, this dark blue and make that a no fill, similar to what we did on the first one. You can see it's bringing all these 10 values. We can go ahead and delete those. That's not what we want. And then the gray scale color codes over here. So that's what we need to do with this outer ring. And in order to do that, just manually click each one and then Go over here to the color and it's this on the theme colors the white background one darker five percent 
select that and then just go through the process. So I'll do that quickly here. Okay, we have our color scale completed. Now we're gonna add our data label. So go ahead and just select the, the chart, make sure it's all highlighted. Plus sign, data labels, more options. And go over to our label options section here. And we're actually gonna do value from sales. And then this is where we're gonna select the scale. So the scale goes from zero to 100. Select all of those values, click the down arrow, click okay. And so we brought in that, we'll get rid of the value and show leader lines. So now we have all of our zero to 100 values in this, we will just put at the start of each one of the slices. So zero, 10, I'll start on this, the first part of it. And we'll do that real quickly. So a little bit of manual work, but makes a big difference and looks really clean whenever you get it all put together nicely. So just move each one of these to the starting point for each slice. And then we have the 100 here at the very bottom. We're gonna bring that up, have it placed right here. Okay, so we've got both of our donut charts and the third chart is actually going to be a pie chart. So in order to, to bring that in, we'll do a similar exercise what we did in the last one. We'll select the chart area, go to chart design, select data, and then we'll go ahead and add, we can call this one a needle, and then select your series value, 0, 1, and 199 over here. Bring that down and click OK, and then click OK. OK, before we format that, because it does not look like what we want, I want to point out what these pointer values are. So this formula, the pointer, is going to be driven by the 0% or 15% value we have up here. The formula for that is going to be if D4 so our progress percent is less than zero, then we wanna make that zero. So any negatives, we'll just make zero. Otherwise we'll do the if D4 times 100 is greater than 100. So this is a percentage of 120 or whatever it is above 100. We just wanna make that 100. And then otherwise we will actually just take that value times 100. So that's how to ensure that your needle isn't going off the screen, either positive or negative. The thickness, that's the thickness of the pointer, keep that at one. And then this rest value is going to be the sum of D12, which is the total of our goal categories. And then the total of our speedometer increments, 100 and 100, minus the sum of our pointer and thickness values, so minus D30 and D31. So that's the formula behind those. And then we have our donut chart. So go ahead and select just the donut chart itself. Go up here to chart design and then change chart type. And we have a donut as the default, since that's what we've been making, but we want to actually make that a pie. And we want to throw that on the secondary axis and then click OK. OK, so we have pie chart and then similar what we've done with all the other ones, we need to format that angle of first slice to 270, tab over to lock that in. And then highlight just this orange needle area and then make that point explosion 5% so it extends beyond the chart area. And then we will go over here to our colors and I'm going to make this a really dark orange and then make the border 0.5. So it has less of the white around it makes it stand out a little bit. That's our, that's our pointer. We have that formatting done. Now we can just click on our gray area, go ahead and make that a no fill to hide him. And then the blue, same thing, no fill. So all we're left with is just that pointer value. And it did bring in our uh, data labels. Let's go ahead and just select those and click delete. So now we have a finished product. We can test it out here. You can see it's at 15. We move it to 20, 40, 78. So it's moving as it should. And this is how it should look when you're all complete. So the next thing you can do is add just a little bit more formatting to it. You can drop in a, a text box if you want. It has this little bit of a border right now. You can go ahead and do a no line, get rid of that. And then we can insert a text box if we want. So go up here, insert text box, bring that in. I like to change the shape to rounded corners. And then if you go up to your formula bar equals and then reference D4, which is our progress percent, we'll bring that in. We can increase the the font quite a bit, make that centered align. 
Um, you can change the you can change the formatting however you want on your your shape outline here. We could make that like a dark blue. We can make that text the same color, a dark blue. And then you can just position it however you want. So there you go. You could just learn how to create a speedometer gauge in Excel. Really useful tool and really visually compelling as well. So hope that you found this helpful. If you do like and subscribe to the channel, we'll have a lot more Excel related tips and tricks. And I do have a link to this exact template available on Etsy for purchase. So if you really liked how this looked as an end product, but don't want to go through the process of creating yourself, I have that there for, for purchase for those interested. Otherwise, thank you for watching and God bless.